You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. I wanna hold you so much. In lesson uh, three of module two, we will look at what Z scores are. Now understand that knowing what a Z score is is a very important part of your statistical development. This is a subtitle, Life According to the Dog, Woof Woof. One of the first great challenges of understanding Z scores is to understand what we call the standard normal curve or the standard normal distribution. Remember, we've looked at a normal distribution in which the data are symmetrically scattered around the mean in terms of standard deviations above and below. Now, the standard normal curve is a special normal distribution curve in which the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. Now, the advantage to this is, is that it allows us to develop a curve for which all normal distributions can be equated. In other words, we will take a normal distribution, change it to the standard normal distribution, and we will be able to understand areas underneath the standard normal distribution curve. Remember that the data are symmetric about the move, or the mean, which here is zero, with 50% on the above to the right, 50% to the left, 100% of the data under the mean. That's really cool, isn't it? The formula for a z-score for an individual x is given by taking that x value, subtracting the mean from it, and dividing by the standard deviation. Ooh, that's a booger. We're going to explain it. Hold on. Before you panic over this uh, formula, let me explain it to you. The z-score is equal to the standard error divided by the standard deviation. The standard error is a term you need to come to understand, generally represented by the letters SE, which is x minus mu. Now that sounds all like Greek, doesn't it? Well, it actually is Greek. Mu and sigma are Greek, but we use them in statistics. The standard error is actually the distance the data point lies from mu. And what we're doing with a z-score is we're taking a data point and figuring out how far it is from mu, and then we're dividing it by the standard deviation, which is the average distance from mu. So if we divide its distance by, from mu by the average distance from mu, we know how many average distances the data lie from the mean. Now let me say that again. If we take the standard error, which is the distance the data lies from the mean, and we divide it by sigma, the standard deviation, then we find out how many standard deviations the data lies from the mean. A z-score is the number of standard deviations that a data falls in distance from the mean. The standard error is the distance from the mean, and dividing by sigma converts to the number of standard deviations from the mean. Woo, that's a mouthful, isn't it? The z-score is x minus mu divided by sigma. In order to get a real handle on the normal distribution curve and the standard normal distribution curve, you need to see that the standard normal distribution curve is defined in terms of z-scores. The z-score of the mean is zero. Of course, the z-score of one standard deviation above the mean is one because a, a, a sigma divided by sigma is one. So this is really a neat thing. The standard normal curve lists numbers on the number line as z-scores. For example, one is the standard deviation above the mean, and negative one is one standard deviation below the mean. This is not as hard as you thought it was. This again just graphically represents the standard normal curve with mean of zero and standard deviation of one. Z again is the standard error, the distance of a data point from the mean divided by Sigma, which is the standard deviation or average distance from the mean. Standard error is x minus mu. So a z-score gives us the number of standard deviations a value is from the mean. Just to make a couple of quick observations about these z-scores, the reason that the mean has a z-score of zero is if you take the, the value of the mean as your x value and subtract it from itself, Divide it by sigma, you get zero divided by sigma, which is zero. So the mean has a z-score of zero. And of course, doesn't that make sense? How, how many standard deviations is the mean from itself? The answer, zero. The mean is itself. 
Well, here's another obvious point. The, the z-score of the standard deviation is 1. This value right here is indeed mu plus 1 standard deviation. So if we take mu plus a standard deviation and subtract mu from it and divide it by the standard deviation, we get that one standard deviation above the mean divided by the standard deviation is a z-score of 1. Kind of obvious, isn't it? Of course, if a given data is 1.5 standard deviations above the mean, then its z-score is going to be 1.5. Now, the z-score tables give us the area to the left of a z-score that we're looking at. And that's going to be another lesson down the road, but you're going to find the areas under this curve. For example, for this given z-score of 1.5, then the area to the left of that is all of this area here. And that is the area that is going to be given to you by the z-score table. So the z-score tables give us the area to the left of a specific z-score. Just to emphasize what I've said, let's take an x value with a z-score of negative 0 0.5. What the table gives us when we go to that z-score is the area which is to the left of the indicated z-score. You'll learn more about this in the next lecture. Well, the old clock on the wall says it's time to get out of here. You now know what a z-score is. Now let's recap just a minute. We have a normal distribution. The standard normal distribution is a normal distribution with mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. We're going to discover that all normal distributions can be equated to the standard normal distribution where we can then calculate areas. You've done good. You've done well to keep so much hair with so many after it. Z-scores are your friends. There's nothing else to compare The sight of you leaves me weak There are no left to speak but if you feel like I feel please let me know that it's real